It was actually 35 before he ever won it. And up against him was the 24-year-old David Pierce, also from Wales. The fight took place in Cardiff. Lead on the left, age 37, defending the title for the first time. And David Pierce, his challenger, 13 years younger and exactly a stone lighter at the weigh-in. Lead, the bigger man with his back to you, was 15 stone six and a half. Both these boys have a reputation for punching power. And when they last met over three years ago, it was Meade, the defending champion here, who stopped Pierce inside a round. Pierce since then has matured. And is confident that he can take the title here tonight. They say that uh, the last thing a boxer loses is his punching power. And Mead, a veteran, has certainly showed that over the years. Of his 20 wins, 18 have come by the short route. He's only ever won two professional contests on point. Pierce has the reputation of being a little wild on occasions and gets hit rather more than is good for him. And this looks like being the battle of the two big hitters. Good left hook going in there from the challenger, David Pierce. Meade sticking out the jab there without much effect. Although uh, in his earlier days as an amateur, he could box pretty well. He was an ABA champion. And I remember seeing him win the Commonwealth Games Championship down in Christchurch, New Zealand, back in 1974. Useful right hand by Pierce over the top there. Pierce likes to hook with both hands. Don't see the jab come from him very often. There's the hook in once again there. And Meade with that uh, extra stone just pushes him away. Nearly two years since Meade won the title. Meade won the championship by stopping Gordon Ferris from Northern Ireland inside a round. And that was in October 1981. Cooking well, Pierce, in this opening round, both to head and body, and certainly having the better of the exchanges so far. Need half lands one right to the at the end of that round there. But it certainly, I think, will have gone to the other man, David Pierce, round one. So a steady start for both champion and challenger. Pierce, though, had the best of the following rounds, and we pick up the action again now at the start of round seven. Well, Pierce is certainly beginning to get on top at this stage, looking more confident as the rounds go on. Mead, whose stamina has nearly always been in question throughout his career, beginning to look pretty tired. He's still there, though, and he won't let this British title go lightly. Very proud to have won it. In his mid-30s when he won the championship, and here defending it for the first time. Neville Mead on the right. considers himself very much a Welshman, although he was born in the West Indies. And whatever happens here, the title will, of course, remain in Wales. And before Mead, the last Welshman to hold the heavyweight championship was the great Joe Erskine back in the middle 50s. He can still hit Mead, improving it now, and Pierce took that punch very well indeed. Trying to make Mead pay for it. 
And this is what Pierce does occasionally. He goes a little wild after being hit. He better to try and remain composed and keep his boxing going. And Mead's certainly not out of this one at this stage, round seven. Clubbing right hands, just missing their mark. Otherwise, Pierce could be in trouble here. Better punches going in from the challenger now. Made in trouble. Useful left hook. Well, that was a slap with the right hand there. But the punches before it were useful. And the big man, Meade, now breathing heavily. Now you wonder why Meade doesn't employ that tactic a bit more, the jab. He has success with it when he throws the left jab. So Meade comes through that nasty little moment in round seven. And still there. Took the weight of that hook mostly on the glove. And the bell ends round seven. And Meade goes back to his corner. About as tight as he has been after every round so far. Terry Lawless in his corner tonight. This bout here, incidentally, is scheduled for 15 rounds. British title fights are now over 12 normally, but the contract for this was made so long ago, it remains a potentially 15-round contest. I have my doubts as to whether it'll go that far. Meade only ever won two professional contests on point. It's a question really here of who gets the most telling hook in first. Well, they've both taken some pretty useful punches. Warning there from referee Roland Dakin for Pierce. Pierce tends to hang on in there with his head from time to time. Nothing in those punches from Meade at this stage, just feelers, really. Meade actually hasn't boxed since February of last year, when he stopped a rather podgy American called Ricky Keller in six rounds. He's had various injuries in the interim. The more serious warning now for Pierce. Useful punches going in from the challenger. The younger man, his stamina standing up better. Back comes Meade. And he slipped rather awkwardly and took a punch as he was sliding backwards and he looks at the canvas there. He's still composed, he's talking to his corner man, taking account but well in control. That was unfortunate for him. He slipped in the corner. Now, the head went in there, certainly, from Pierce, and he's getting a severe lecture this time from Roland Dakin. And I think what he's saying there is, if it happens one more, once more, his challenge for this British title will have ended. Good punches now from Pierce. Every time Meade, the older man's under pressure, he comes back waging war himself. 
quite remarkable at 37 years of age. He was a proud man when he won this title in his middle 30s, and he's not going to let it go lightly. The British Heavyweight Championship, a championship with a great heritage, of course. Pierce opening up again now. End of round eight, and Pierce must be ahead on points at this stage. Meade dependent now, really, on getting that big punch in. trying to get the jab working here in round nine hasn't used it very much he's the sort of man need that uh, might have been better for him had it all happened a little earlier in his career but he stayed amateur a long long time and didn't indeed take up boxing at all till fairly late in the day a grin from Pierce that means it hurt I'll tell you and that one must have too now here's a chance for Meade round nine clinging on to that British title still at this stage and Pierce the challenger the younger man still showing that fallibility that he has that when he's on top in a contest he then takes risk and gets caught and it's happening here from time to time Mind you, it's a risky business. Good jabbing from Meade now, but look how tired he is. And that rocked him. The left hand rocked him there, no doubt about that. Just when he was getting the jab working. And it looks almost like a last-ditch effort from him now. Most of the stamina has all ebbed away. And there's more of it gone with that left hook. Meade in trouble. The British title slipping away from him. Pierce senses it. And still he's not done Meade. set him up for the big punch again now Meade's in trouble once more here in the ninth he takes a punch well though now he's gone well the referee did well there to protect him from the right hand the left hook was the finisher, really. The referee sensed that. Had the right hand punch gone in there from David Pierce, now busy celebrating. Well, Meade really could have suffered badly. David Pierce, at 24 years of age, is the new British champion at heavyweight. Following in the footsteps of the Tommy Fars and the Joe Erskins and the Henry Coopers. And the title has slipped away from the veteran. Neville Meade loses the championship he won two years ago the new british heavyweight champion is david pierce and young pierce now anxious to get frank bruno in the ring of course to earn himself a really decent payday that may or may not happen bruno back in action on tuesday night as is charlie magri